Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be tutorial 12 in the Lewis series where we'll be going over key press and also the F1, F4 keys. So if you're curious how to make events happen, this is how you do it. So let's start with the F keys. So we're going to need to get this function going called show help. And it has the argument player, and this is going to represent the F1 key. So by default, show help is bound to the F1. So whenever a pr player presses it, it's going to get that player. And we're going to do some stuff with that player. So whoever presses this F1 key, which is going to be me in this case, we're going to have the set health. Um, let's increase it by 25. So we're going to use our math clamp function. And we're going to get the player's current health plus 25. That's what we're going to set the health to with a minimum value of 0 and a maximum value of get max health, which is going to be our player's maximum health. All right. So what about the F2 key? Well, that's going to be represented by show team, which again has the argument player. So anytime player presses F2, this gets called. And let's say that we want to instead hurt the player. So we'll say set health is equal to player's current health minus 50. And of course, we have to do a conditional check if the player's health is less than or equal to zero then terminate the player. So let's just kill him off right there. All right, so that's good. So we got F2 set up. What about F3? So we're going to do show spare one, which is going to represent F3. OK. And this one, we'll do something simple. We'll go print something to the server console, and it'll say, ouch. Stop pressing me. Mim, me, me, all right. And then we'll say player Nick to get the player's username and game name. And we'll put a exclamation point to emphasize that the server does not like when you press that button. All right, so then the infamous F4 key, which is used for many menus and all sorts of game modes, is going to be represented by show spare two. And we'll get this one to say player say I'm cool. And this next argument, the Boolean argument right here, is to say, is it uh, team chat or is it not team chat? We're going to say false because it's not going to be team chat. All right. So simple enough. That's your F keys. Now, for all the other fun keys that are available, we can use GM key press. And then you have two arguments here. The first one's player. And then the second one is the key that's being pressed. So here we would do a conditional statement saying, hey, if the key that was pressed by the player is, and we have a bunch, a list right here in enumerations, and it'll tell us all the different keys that are available right here. So we'll say, if the key pressed is jump, let's just go with jump because that's a really fun one. So we'll do in underscore jump, then and this is a cool example that's on the wiki that I wanted to include because it's really fun. We'll use player set velocity. We'll do player's current velocity at the moment which the key is pressed plus a vector of 0, 0, 1000. So that's going to increase the velocity of the player by 1000 units in the Z direction. All right, very simple. If you don't get it, I mean, it's not rocket science. You'll, you'll figure it out. You'll see what's happening since we go into the game. So anyway, and let's set up another key for the heck of it. We'll say in, and let's go to our key commands right here. And we'll say, how about duck? Duck's a fun one, which is default control, right? Okay, so we'll go back here and say in underscore duck. Then we're going to use something that we used for the crowbar and the revolver, which is emit sound. So we'll say player emit sound. And there is a huge database of sounds I'm going to put in the description below. But for this specific case, I will say bo slash citadel slash br 
underscore laugh zero one dot wave. Okay, and that's gonna be a fun little laugh by Dr. Breen from Half-Life 2. So we have all these keys set up, so let's go in game and see what's gonna happen. Alrighty, so we are now in game at the moment, and we have all the keys set up, so let us press the F1 key. So that increases the health, F2 key, decreases health, and kills me, it goes below zero. Then the F3 key, as you can see, and the server console right here, ouch, stop pressing me holy. And F4 key, I'm cool. Alright, so all of our F keys work. Now, what about the jump? So, as you can see, jump now sends me flying, which is pretty fun. This is what the set velocity command does, really awesome, where you can just go woo, all over. And then, crouch. <laughs> all right. All right, so that is our crouch sound. So, as you can see, everything's working. And like I said, there is a bunch of other different keys that you can play around with. It doesn't have to be just jump and crouch, but this is the fun stuff. So anyway, if you have any more questions about this stuff, um, let me know, and I will be sure to get to you in the comments section below. Till then, I will see you in the next video.